Hey guys, how's it going? Jason is here. Let's talk about how to connect a PST online to Yaystar Cloud PBX. Since Yaystar Cloud PBX is a virtual system based on the internet, we can use Yaystar TA FXO gateway to expand FXO ports for it. Connect the PST online to the gateway and integrate the Cloud PBX with the gateway. The users of the Cloud PBX can make and receive calls through the analog trunk. Let's take this scenario as an example. TA410 is deployed in the local network environment with the PST line connected. We're going to integrate the device with the Yaystar Cloud PBX via the internet. At the very beginning, create SIP trunks on the Yaystar Cloud PBX and TA410. Log in to the Cloud PBX. Choose Settings. Go to the Trunk Setting page. Click on Add. Name it. In this country list, Choose General. Set the trunk type to Account Trunk. An account as well as an authentication name are generated automatically. We're going to apply the information on the gateway later. Just click on Save and Apply. Now we turn to the gateway. Log in and choose Gateway. Find VoIP Trunk Settings. Click on Add New Trunk. Set the trunk type to Trunk. Name it. Enter the domain name of the Cloud PBX in these two blanks and fill in the rest of the blanks using the information of the account trunk created on the Cloud PBX. Click on Save and apply the changes. Now check the connection status of both trunks. On the PBX, go to the main menu, find PBX Monitor, choose Trunks. It works. On the gateway, choose Status. It also registered. The Cloud PBX and Gateway have been connected successfully. We can continue to create routes to make and receive calls. First, finish settings to allow outgoing calls through the trunk. On the Cloud PBX, create an outbound route. Choose Settings. Go to the Call Control Settings and find Outbound Route. Click on Add. Name it. Keep the default dial pattern to match all outgoing calls. Select the account trunk created and all the extensions. By the way, don't forget to click on Save and Apply. That was all on the PBX. Now we turn to the Gateway. Choose Gateway. In Route Settings, find IP. Then we go for Port. Click on Add IP and Port Route. Disable the simple mode. Name it. Set the call source to the trunk created just now. Set the DID number to DOT to allow all outgoing calls. In call destination, choose the trunk connected to the gateway. The trunk has been connected to port 1, so we choose this one. Click on Save and Apply. Now users of the Cloud PBX can make outgoing calls through the analog trunk. As for the incoming calls, we recommend to start from the gateway. Also find the route settings, but choose port, then IP to port instead. Create a route. Enable the simple mode. Name it. Set the call source to the port 1 to which the analog trunk is connected. Set the destination to the SIP trunk for the Cloud PBX. Define a hotline number, say 1234. Click on Save and Apply. Turn to the Cloud PBX. Also go to the call control. Create an inbound route. Name it. In DID pattern, enter the same hotline number set on the gateway. Choose the account trunk for the gateway. Now the last step, choose a destination to answer incoming calls. Lots of options are available. Say we choose the receptionist extension 1000. Now, click on Save and Apply. All incoming calls from the analog trunk will be sent to extension 1000. With the above settings, we can use an analog trunk with Yaystar Call PBX and allow our users to make and receive calls in order. Alright, that was all we have for this one. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. Get more details, check our document center, and I will see you guys in the next one.